Hello, it's me, the Dad, and today I will show you a video about the firmware 2.12, which is the most recent firmware, and how to run an VHBL on this firmware. You need um, a specific game, an exploit game, which is this Democracy 1 Legend of Robot. Um, as far as we know, it's just available in the American and Canadian PlayStation Store. It's not available in the European, Japanese or Australian store. So you need an US account for getting the game. Um, executing the VHB is pretty easy. Just launch the game, select high scores, and the screen will flash three to four times. Then the VHB will launch. Um, the usual menu of the VHBL is the W menu of Vololo, but I'm using a different menu. This menu is called 138 menu, or 138, depends. Um, it's a pretty nice menu, it's very smooth. You have three categories, beginning with the, the settings. The menu is made by Guidobot. Um, at the moment you can change the language between English and Spanish. Um, there are plans to adding new languages like French, German and others. Then you can enable or disable the icon of your games or of the games inside of an install.zip file. Then you can change the load mode, like getting the name and the icon um, from inside of the install.zip file or from the folder in which the install.zip file is so you can change between fast and accurate. Then you can change two more things. You can change um, as the which files um, eboot.pbp files will be installed. The default name for the VHB is wmenu.bin and you can change the path since slash psp slash game is well kinda blocked since firmware 2.10 um, I'm using the, well, new default path, which is slash psp slash bhbl. And of course you can resort the settings. Changing um, the path and the name for the pbp files um, isn't possible from the menu itself, you have to edit the config file. Next you have um, the install category. I don't have any installed or zip files in there, but it's pretty easy with this setting to install homebrews to the path which was given before. Then we have the game category. It shows you homebrews, the names of them and the icon if you enable it. I have some homebrews in here like GBA, uh, GB Color, Emulator, Wedgic, PSP Filer and Game Boy Advance Emulator, Super Nintendo Emulator and the FTP app. Let's begin with um, Wedgic. By the way, Wedgic was made by Vololo himself. Um, I think it's a spin-off of the card game Magic. Um, it's pretty advanced, it has a lot of cards. Um, I had no time to play it yet, but the game is actually pretty nice, it's worth to play it. This um, VHBL is by the way made by Quick Razor 87 also a member of the Vodola forum. Um, one thing about this half pad loader, PSP filer is apparently not working on it, we're trying to fix it but Unfortunately, it's not working at the moment, which is really a shame since PSP Fighter is a very awesome homebrew. Um, next, I will launch the Super Nintendo emulator, since a lot of people like to um, play Super Nintendo games on the PS Vita. For example, let's run Zelda 3, also known as Zelda A Link to the Past.
it's a bit dark, um, but that's cause of my camera. Um, when I focus the screen, the flashlight is a bit too bright. So I'm focusing the PS Vita, so it's not too bright. The game is actually running in, in decent brightness. And the game is running without any lags or bugs. So you can play um, these games without any problems. Um, I can change the game. Now oh, there it is. Load new game. For example, Super Mario World. Which is also working flawless. Smooth sound, smooth animations, no legs, bugs or anything. Okay, back to the menu. Next I will run um, this emulator. It's an emulator for Game Boy Classic and Game Boy Color games. For example, um, Pokemon Crystal. It's also running very smooth, no legs, 60 frames per second. If you press um, square and R, you get a turbo mode. So you don't have to play with the default speed. You can also disable it. Um, other Game Boy Classic and Game Boy Color games, I don't know, Zelda, Golden Sun or others are of course working. This is just an example. Um, there are even more homebrews working at the PS Vita. This was just um, a few selection of, well, some of the most famous. And everything, of course, at the most recent firmware, 2.12. I'm that and see you soon.